Hi, so this is section 2E. The topic of this section is determinants. And here I'm just going to walk through this, the basics of determinant, how to interpret a determinant, and importantly, how to compute the determinant of a matrix. Now, I'll just remind you that we encountered determinants, albeit briefly, back when we did the computation of the cross product of two vectors. And here we're going to focus in on the determinant of a matrix. A determinant is properly put a uh, linear operator. Um, it's a function, in other words, that takes as an input a matrix. As an output, it produces a number, a real number. And the way we notate this typically, there's sort of two ways. We can say the determinant of our matrix A, or you can likewise write the determinant of a matrix enclosed in vertical lines. And when we talk about determinants, we're always referring to a square matrix. So throughout, when I write the matrix A, it'll mean A is an n by n matrix uh, in generality here. So the determinant, again, takes a matrix as an input and it produces a real number that is a scalar as an output. And the way you want to interpret a determinant uh, to begin with is a determinant determines whether or not a matrix is invertible, meaning whether or not there is a matrix a inverse that when I multiply by A, I get back to the identity, if you remember when we talked about inverses of matrices previously. So the determinant of a matrix determines whether or not a matrix is invertible. In more detail, let's put it like this. When I take the determinant of a matrix, if that determinant is not equal to zero, then this implies or indicates that A is invertible. So there is some inverse out there. Again, when I multiply A by that inverse, I get back to the identity. Okay? On the other hand, as you might imagine, right, that implies, therefore, then if the determinant of A is equal to 0, then the implication is that A is, importantly now, not invertible. So it has no such inverse. Now, this idea of invertible and not invertible has important consequences when you're solving systems of linear equations has to do with whether my solution is unique or whether or not there's even a solution to begin with. Okay, so the determinant determines whether or not a matrix is invertible. If the determinant is not zero, then the matrix is invertible. If the determinant is equal to zero, then the matrix is not invertible.